My next number, I'd like to return to the to the to the classic. Hi guys and welcome to CCG Quan and today I'm doing a different type of video. Today I'm doing a tutorial. And this tutorial is for the Alienware Steam Machine and the Alienware Alpha. And this tutorial is going to show you how to overclock your PC. Okay? So first things first, I'm telling you that I'm using the Core i5 version. Right? 8 gigabytes of RAM, blah 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 blah. Okay, so at the end of this video, if you stay tuned, I'll be doing a couple of tests, two tests to show you guys how much of an increase in performance the overclock will actually help you with in gaming, well gaming wise, okay? So first thing we need to do is open a new tab, any browser of your liking, in Google search up MSI Afterburner, got it right here. Go straight to the first link, gaming.msi.com. Alright, so you'll see on your screen here, on the bottom left, you'll see features, tutorials, and downloads. What you want to do is click downloads. And there's a lot of different products, but we're sticking with the first, first one here, the MSI Afterburner, not the one for Android, the Comma Buster, or the one for iOS. And for this video, I'm going to be letting you download the latest version, which is 4.2.0. If you want to become a beta tester, that's fine. You can download that version as well. But for the purpose of this video, we're going to download the 4.2.0. All right. In the bottom left, you can see it starts to download. It comes as a zip folder. So in order to extract the file from inside, of course, um, thing most of you all know, you will need WinRAR. And to download WinRAR, you can basically just Google search WinRAR. WinRAR is free and you can get that. Alright, so it seems it's finished downloading. Click the zip file, open WinRAR, X off that, and you see you get a setup here. So if you double click, yes, giving it permissions, and you basically scroll through the settings, English, whatever language you want, okay, next, blah blah blah, accept the terms and license, next, Yes, next. Wherever you want to place your file, next. And blah, blah, blah. And you can click install. But I'm not going to install it because I already have it. So we're going to come out of that, go straight back to our desktop. X of that. Um, minimize that. And right here, you can see we have the MSI Afterburner application. So I'm going to double click that. Yes, with the administrative privileges. Okay. So when you first open up MSI Afterburner, you would not see all these stuff going on here. You would see the core voltage, the power limit, the core clock, the memory clock, the fan speed percentage. They'd all be on minimum. Now, I'd advise you to follow where I have here. So I'm going to go into my profile one. Okay. For my profile, I want you to also create a profile for yourself. So for your core clocking, you're going to play with the core clocking and you're going to change that up to max, which is 135. And memory clock, I don't advise you push it anywhere over 300. So we keep it there and you can leave all the other specs as it is. And as I think it is, I don't think you can even move the other sliders. Yeah, this is all you could really mess with with the Alienware Alpha and Steam Machine. Okay, so once you make your profile, you're going to save that and hit apply. You see profile one applied and now your PC will go into a state of overclocking. Now I'll show you guys what that does in Call of Duty Black Ops 3. Alright guys, so we're back here at CCG Quan in Call of Duty Black Ops 3 right now. I put an FPS counter on the top left. I'm sorry, on the top right hand side. There's also one on the top left. But as you can see, all these purple stuff, those are the overclocking specs and exactly what's going on is what the application is telling you what's going on so it's always good to monitor those specs and I want you to make sure that when you're overclocking when you're overclocking make sure to monitor the GPU temperatures and the CPU temperatures I think that's most important I always keep mine I always try to keep mine below 80 on both and anytime you know over 80 I need to be all conscious about that okay so we actually overclocking right now so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go in a custom game here. I'm gonna put in a bot. Just gonna put like just gonna put like four bots, four bots alone. All right, and we're gonna start the game. 
All right, so we're in the game. So what I'm gonna do is let you guys see exactly what specs I'm using, my specs that I'm accustomed to using. I'm going to play with that for a while. I'm also going to max out all these settings. We need to see how much. Oh my gosh, I'm getting hit already. We need to see what exactly will go on when you're overclocking, when you're using the maximum settings you could possibly get. So let me just show you guys fast in graphics. This is exactly what I'm using. Now I like to use render resolution at 80%. Something about the 80% helps the game. Like, I don't know, it gives me a big boost and helps out a lot. So I could still play at 1920 by 1080, but the 80% render, render resolution helps me out a lot. So advanced settings, this is what is being used right now. If you can see all of that, guys. And yeah, so let's just go move around, shoot a bit. You know all that fun stuff. Someone in front and behind me. Getting killed, you know, that's fun, whatever. Um, yeah, just make sure you're paying attention to the specs. I'm getting killed by bots. That's not even cool. What's wrong with my aim? The FPS counter and whatnot. So you guys can determine what you want to see. Tango down. My aim feels really, really off right now. I don't like this feeling. It's a horrible feeling. And that guy's up there camping. That's a kill. Alright, so what I'm going to do now is go into the graphics. I'm going to change the render resolution up to 100%. I think this is the, uh, the max they could go. I'm going to put all of that on. on Max or what we could do here. Filmatic. And put on extra. And I'm going to leave the motion blow at dynamic because I just like how the feeling of the motion blow the motion blur in dynamic is all right so let's try it all right so now in max out settings pay attention to the fps in the top right hand corner of your screen and as you can see this is now the max out settings we can get with the alien west the machine and alpha and i think it's very much still playable if i do say so much why do i have a rocket launcher i think it's very much playable if i do say so myself i know anyone with Alienware Alpha or Steam Machine has ever tried to play on full settings. It's it is a utter mess. So just by overclocking, you can be able to play the game at your max settings, and I think that's great. Game is still very much playable. There's a little bit of you know noticeable lag. There's not really any input lag. But then again, this is just a custom game, so if you're playing online, it'd probably be a bit worse. But alright. Oh, I got purified. Alright, so that was the basis of the test. Alright, thank you guys for watching. Oh, okay, one more thing. The reason why I didn't show you guys my Call of Duty gameplay at normal mode before overclocking because I actually went and put on the overclocking settings and for some reason, even when you take off the MSI after dinner, it kind of stays in overclock mode for a while. I think that's a bit of a bit of a glitch or something, but I think it's okay. So if you guys want to see, you could probably look back at any one of my videos, any one of my YouTube videos where you don't see the purple stuff on the top left of, on the top left of the screen and you realize that, alright, that's when he's playing, not overclocked. Okay guys, so thanks for watching, TCG Kwan, signing out.